Today we're going to relook at NVIDIA share desktop recording and the issue revolving around it starting and then stopping immediately without recording anything. We encountered this issue again recently on a system we were troubleshooting and to resolve the issue what we did is we identified a conflict with a media video content delivery program in Windows 10 called Movies and TV. It is a video content delivery app within Windows 10. It also deals with media rendering and whether it was holding back a codec or not releasing a specific file or a specific resource NVIDIA Share Desktop Recorder needed in order to operate. What we had to do is reset the app. To do that, we right click on the Windows Start menu, go to Settings, and select Apps. In the Apps and Features list, we scroll down to the M listings and look for Movies and TV. There it is. Once we click Movies and TV, we notice it's an Advanced Options link. Clicking that Advanced Options link takes us to the Movies and TV settings page. From within this page, we can terminate and reset the app. So we'll terminate all processes related to the app, and then we'll reset the app. Now keep in mind this will delete all the settings and content from the app and it will require you to re-log into that particular app if you were logged in in the first place. So if you have any content that you purchase within that app, make sure it's backed up to the cloud so that when you re-log in you can re-access your content or backed up locally if that's possible. Once we click the reset button, it's going to warn us of all that information and then we're going to reset the app and we'll receive this check mark next to the reset button verifying that the reset was successful. After resetting the app, we'll go ahead and retry the NVIDIA Share desktop recording feature by clicking Alt F9. And that's if we have a desktop share recording set up properly in the NVIDIA GeForce settings. To do that, go into Alt Z, click the settings, and then go down to privacy control and ensure that desktop capture is turned on. In this case it is, and following these steps, helped resolve the issue on this particular system. Keep in mind, different systems have different issues. They are comprised of different mixtures of software, hardware, power parameters, so that one solution for one system is not going to be a solution for every cause on every system. But this may help some other people who are having the issue for the same reasons. Now, if terminating and resetting movies and TV didn't resolve the issue on your system, it could still be a conflict with another program, particularly if it started most recently. So if you're sure that Windows 10 critical updates are updated and NVIDIA GeForce updates are updated, what you could do is go back to the apps and features list, sort by install date, and then go down the list and perform the same operation for some other programs, paying particular attention to those programs that handle media, video, audio, uh, gaming, and even the NVIDIA control panel itself that also has the advanced options where you can terminate and reset. Just make sure that you have backed up any content that you purchased or that you're saving and you can go down the list and see if any of these steps help with another program. We hope that helps some people out there get their NVIDIA Share GeForce desktop recorder back up and running.